In this video, we're going to cover some big changes to the My Memories kit install process. Uh, since we launched um, content on MyMemories.com way back in 2009, uh, we've always had uh, three different install options for various kits. Uh, so if you look here in your My Memories account, uh, we have the Windows install, the Mac install, and the general zip file. Um, the Windows install is for customers on Windows computers that are wanting content installed directly into my memory suite. Um, the Mac is obviously for Mac users uh, doing the same thing. And then the general zip was kind of for customers who might have been using Photoshop Elements um, or some other graphics program for their layout. Uh, this worked okay in the beginning and um, our customers enjoyed being able to install content right into the program. They didn't have to worry about uh, where to organize those files um, and how to access them from within the program. However, as our product catalog grew um, to over 200,000 uh, product SKUs, the idea of having three separate install files um, or all of our data in triplicate became very expensive uh, to host and um, you know also uh, three different versions of every kit to maintain uh, so what we've done is we've built in um, that install process right into my memory suite and so I'm going to cover um, how to use that and there's some some big advantages obviously for my memories as a company uh, significantly lower uh, data hosting costs um, and for consumers the install process is actually much easier and has some benefits like um, installing multiple kits at the same time in order to use the new kit process you will need to have the latest version of my memory suite uh, so you can get that from your account at the top. Um, in this uh, this account I have the trial version as well as the full version. Um, I'll clearly want to download the full version and I'm on a Mac so I'm gonna go ahead and download the Mac version of my Memory Suite 9. I already have my Memory Suite 9 um, but it's a slightly older version that doesn't have this new import capability. So what I'm gonna do is download and install that uh, new version right over the top of the existing version. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And run the installer. It's warning me about being downloaded from the internet, which I already know. Put in my computer password here. So I'm just going to leave the default settings. It's going to find and, and replace the existing My Memory Suite with the new version. Accept the license agreement. Okay. Um, at the end of the install, it opens the registration page, which we don't need to do. I'm going to close that. And um, now we're, we're ready to go. Well, actually, I'm going to quickly eject that install disk icon. Um, I forgot to click this. Okay, so finish. Eject the disk icon. And I don't like the desktop shortcut. So now we've got the new version of my memory suite installed and uh, we can continue. I show you how to download those. Uh, what we'll want to do, especially here on Mac, is uh, double check a couple of settings. Uh, so 
One is um, in Safari. So many of our Mac users use Safari by default. And Safari has a setting where it will open what it considers safe files automatically. Um, and that will actually cause a little bit of an issue with the kit import process. So uh, head to the settings menu. So Safari, sorry, Safari menu settings. And there is an option in here under general uh, for open safe files after downloading. We don't want this because it'll open the zip archives and then my memory suite won't recognize them. So I'm going to turn that off and close that setting. The other thing that we'll need to do is make sure that my memory suite has sufficient access to uh, locations on your Mac that it will need. Uh, so if you head to um, the Apple menu and system settings and then look for privacy and security and there's a couple of ways we can do this um, one is to make sure under files and folders that my memory suite is listed and that it has access to the desktop documents and downloads folder the desktop is the location that my memory suite exports finished albums to uh, the documents folder is where working albums are stored and the downloads folder is where it's going to be able to access any of these content installers so you'll want to make sure that all of those locations are listed as accessible to my memory suite uh, what I prefer is to actually go here to full disk access and add my memory suite put my Mac password in there and uh, this way my memory suite has access to any of the locations that it needs on your local disk or on an external hard drive documents desktop downloads of course are all part of that so my preference is just to have full access to my memory suite um, so I'm adding it here under full access that can be changed and removed at any time but it just makes it a lot easier to have that enabled so we're gonna close our system settings we've already told it not to open up zip files so I'm gonna go ahead and download the first five files so we'll get that one going this one okay so we've got the five files downloaded and I'm gonna start up my memory suite instead of opening or creating an album first thing I'm gonna do is close the starting point screen head to the file menu and choose import download this is the new way to import content from the website um, now the import download is automatically going to my downloads folder and you can see that right now this list is alphabetical anchors away and August days are some of the kits that I just downloaded, uh, Deck the Halls is the other one, uh, Joyful Season, Rainy Days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the view, uh, sort it by date modified instead. So now I've got, and I clicked that column twice, so now I have files that I just downloaded uh, right there together. And I'm going to select the first one, I'm going to hold down shift and select the last one so you can see I have all five um, kits selected and I'm going to choose open and then my memories is going to run through the process of importing those so it's just imported the first of the selected kits uh, tells me it was successfully imported it's also showing uh, the software category that the kit was installed into and whether it was backgrounds, embellishments, templates. Uh, this particular one was a background pack. I'm going to choose OK. The next kit's being imported. And again, we're getting our summary screen. It tells me it was imported into every day under the embellishments. OK, successfully under seasons, under embellishments. Again, it's another embellishments kit, this time under holidays, Christmas. and beach so now it's finished importing all five kits 
and I'm going to open up, uh, well, I'm actually going to create a, an album really quick. I can either use these links right here on the screen or head up to the um, create new album or file menu new album. And I'm going to choose design. We have a bunch of preset types for the interest of time. I'm just going to hit this create that will make a 12 by 12 album with one page. I'm going to dismiss the notice about the trim area and I'm going to look for some of these kits. So under backgrounds, I'm going to expand purchased and we can see the joyful season cardstock kits uh, were installed here. And I'm going to just add one to the page. And now I'm going to look under embellishments uh, for some of the recently installed kits. So holidays, Christmas, we can see the deck, the halls. That was a little cluster that was installed. I'm going to add that. Um, so it's that uh, it's that easy to bring in kits. We're gaining the advantage of being able to you know select groups of of kits to install at the same time, and utilizing just that uh, single zip file. The other benefit is. Uh, we're not going to need to have separate Java installed for the kits. My memory suite includes a bundled Java for the program, um, but up until now you've had to, for Windows, install both 32 and 64-bit Javas separately, and for the Mac a 64-bit Java was required uh, for running these Mac-specific installs, so that won't be needed as well. I'd like to show you quickly is how to compare your MyMemories.com downloads list with what's been installed into the program. This can be especially useful for customers that have a lot of um, digital kits and they're not sure what's been installed, what hasn't. So what you can do is, is go to the My Memory Suite folder. I'm going to command click the icon in the dock, which will open me right up to Macintosh Hard Drive Applications My Memory Suite. Um, and you can browse to that yourself if you want, if you don't have a dock icon or whatnot. Um, in the My Memory Suite folder is a folder called Designer Templates Uninstallers, and anything that gets added to the program is going to appear here, and you can compare that to your online list. Um, so anyway, that's it in a nutshell. It's a new process, um, and I'm sure there will be a couple of snags. So certainly as you're installing these general zips, if you encounter any issues, uh, you can certainly um, grab the name of the kit and send an email to CSR at my memories indicating that you're having you know problems installing that particular kit or if that kit's missing content those sorts of things definitely reach out to us and let us know uh, thanks for watching